Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12, Romans chapter 3, verse 16, and Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for all you've done. Thank you for being a supportive, loving king and just taking care of us. We say thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12. And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. All right. And so this is speaking of the fact that, you know, when we are braided together, we are stronger. Right. And even in the circumstance where it's only two that are twisted together, they are not as easily broken as one. Right. When pressure comes, when when he, the heat is put on, you know, you want to be braided together so that you're not so easily broken. And so we know that this is um, in this specific um, context, um, the Holy Spirit was telling me that this is us braided in with him. Right. When we have him, we have life. When we have Christ, when we have Jesus, we have life. And so um, we know that um, with this, you need to be intertwined with the Lord in everything that you do. In all of your getting, get understanding. In all of your seeking, seek his face. Knock and the door shall be open to you. And everything that you are um, searching about, you need to go to the Father, right? You need to go to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and seek his face about it, right? All right, it says, and though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not easily broken. When the enemy is searching out to try to figure out who's the weakest link, who is who is the one to be picked off, he's he's seeking whom he may devour, right? He's he's looking for the ones that are not braided into the fold of Christ, not braided into relationship with the Father, right? Not braided in with Jesus. And so we need to stay in that way. We need to make sure that we are spending time with Christ intentionally. Um, and not only that, but he's going with us throughout our day. We're consulting him in both the big things and in the small things. Remember, the more that you include Christ in the small things, he is going to reward you with ease in seeking his face about the big things right remember um I told you guys you know it it was learning that Christ was in everything that really helped me um one day he um he told me to put on a pair of overalls when I was I actually asked him I was like oh what should I wear Lord and I felt like he was telling me to wear my overalls and I didn't want to because I was going somewhere special that day and um I was like I don't want to meet all these new people and be wearing overalls but I knew that I was going to be volunteering that day but I didn't know what I was going to be doing I thought it was something totally different but come to find out we ended up painting that day and I needed to be wearing my overalls but instead I was wearing something else so God wants us to include him in even the small decisions and I got paint on my good um my pants that day and so even in the small decisions Christ wants us to include him and when we do that the enemy cannot prevail against us because our relationship is so tight we're so intertwined with him um, even when he comes in like a flood God lifts up that standard and we are okay right we realize that if we're so braided together with him we're going to be okay no matter what comes our way amen 
All right. And so the second verse that the Lord gave me was Romans chapter three, verse 16. In their paths are ruin and misery. All right. And so this is speaking of of everyone, right? Um, this is actually speaking of everyone before we meet Christ, everyone before we um come together and are braided in, right? It it talks about in Romans three about how there is no one good, there is no not one, there is no one who is righteous, right? And so we are walking in the way of sin up until we come to the saving knowledge of Christ. And here it's talking about in their paths are ruin and misery. That was the direction we were headed before we were braided in with Christ that is the the fate that we were to have was death right ruin misery um and that is a way that you don't ever realize usually most people don't realize that they're on until the the end of the road right but thank god for jesus and thank god for the holy spirit's revelation so that we can get off that path that we were on and we can do a new thing amen All right, you guys. So Hebrews chapter eight, verse 10, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts. Um, And so, okay, I'm sorry. Um, And write them on their hearts and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Now that sounds like the Holy Spirit is in operation, right? And so um, here, this is talking about the children of Israel in the latter day. And we know that they don't receive Christ um, as the remnant. Um, at least until the latter days when um, just before uh, at the end of tribulation, right toward the middle and the end of tribulation. And so um, here it says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days declares the Lord, I will put my laws into their minds. So this new covenant that he's speaking of is the covenant that we're under, right? Having the laws of the Lord in our hearts and our minds not on tablets that means we're having a relationship with the lord right it says i will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts and i will be their god and they shall be my people so god is letting us know that we are his people we are the sheep of his flock in his pasture and and we have the spirit of God speaking inside of us, that's what causes us to be braided and intertwined with him, right? Having Holy Spirit leading us and guiding us into all truth helps us make each one of those small decisions, that decision to wear the overalls. That is how Holy Spirit works, right? He's leading you and guiding you, not into some truth, not into a little bit of truth, not into a lot of the truth, into all all truth right and so when we have holy spirit in us we're off of that path of ruin and misery we are on to a better covenant we're going to have the spirit of the lord in our hearts and our minds we're going to write his laws on our hearts and and he's going to be our god and we are going to be his people that's what he did to us through christ jesus and that's what he does to us through his holy spirit amen and so we need to stay braided and intertwined and and refitting ourselves with christ so that we don't come easily broken amen and remember braiding is a process that continues it doesn't just start and then stop right? We want to continue to braid. When you're braiding someone's hair, you're braiding down, right? At the end, everything above it is already braided. But as you continue to braid, you're continuing to move your fingers and braid that thing and keep it going. You can't just braid one portion and leave all the rest loose. That means that we have to continue in the relationship. We need to continue to stand firm in faith. We need to continue to seek his faith every single day right until we get to the end of the hair and the end our rest in our heavenly place amen 
All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for being so good to us. We love you. We praise you. We ask you to forgive us for all of our sins. Help us to seek your face. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to do just that. Amen. One of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. All right, you guys. Um, and don't forget to go out and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, take care and be blessed.